on Saturday against a very tough Spring Valley team. What would you like from your Cougars? Uh, you know, uh, what I like from our team is that we had a, uh, not, a, 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 not a typical first half. Um, first half was pretty bad for us. Um, you know, didn't go well. The kids battled back. Came out the second half, had a turnover in the second half, and still fought through the adversity to pull out pull out um, a big win. Coach, your team currently, as the first ratings came out, and obviously it's very early in the season, but your team ranked fourth in the state. Um, how do you feel like these first three games have prepared your team for the grind of what will be a tough EPAC schedule as well? Uh, well, you, well, the first game was an EPAC game, um, so... You know, just playing that game and that game being tough and uh, pulling that one off, you know, going into overtime, three overtimes with Sarando and then having to fight through the, a bad first half with Spring Valley. Um, you know, I think that we've, we've battled some adversity uh, early in the season, hopefully enough that if we see adversity later on in the season, it won't bother us. It won't, it won't rattle us at all. We can just break through and just keep playing the game. Coach Hunter, last week when we talked with you, you kind of left us with saying that you wanted to see your team finish the fight after the first two weeks of the season, and it seemed like in that second half that's exactly what they did, really pulling away from the Timberwolves of Spring Valley. Just talk about that explosion and how much of a relief it was to finally have that. Yeah, you know, to get that breakthrough uh, offensively. If we needed that breakthrough offensively, hopefully we can keep that Keep that rolling a little bit. You know, you figured two games in a row, we, we haven't been able to get over 21 points. Um, we didn't score, so, you know, the to be able to offensively, the offensive surge um, pretty much, you know, was good to see. It was pretty good to see um, Saturday. And, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to play like that offensively and the defense can continue to do what they've been doing um, in the first three games of this season and possibly even get better at, at stopping people. Who have been uh, some standouts for you here in the early part of the season? Um, I would say, you know, typical standouts um, offensively would probably be, um, you know, Tayshawn Roper, um, you know, us trying to get Keyshawn the ball based on, you know, everybody's everybody's got eyes on him. Um, you know, uh, surprisingly, Jackson Rockwell has been a good receiver for us, catching deep balls, uh, scoring for us. Uh, Giving us balance in the running game with Tayshawn is, is Rigo Delgado, um, you know those guys. And I think the O line has held up pretty well, um, considering all things that's been going on uh, with some changes up front. Defensively, um, you know you still got the, the same same guys that have been around. You know you got Nolan Milag, Jacobs, holding the Packers, um, and then you got Quentin Goings, who's just wreaking havoc at the D line position, um, which doesn't give people a lot of time to actually get time to throw the ball in the secondary, which you still got Keyshawn, um, you got Keyshawn, Tayshawn, and uh, Rockwell's back here, along with a guy by the name of Mar Wallace, who are, you know, those guys are just all doing great jobs back here for us. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a lot of people. I, I, you know, you leave some people out when you start naming people. That's why I hate when y'all ask me those questions. But I think, you know, as a whole, as a whole defensively, I think they've just been doing a collective unit. Um each part is another intricate part of itself. So we try to tell them all the, all the time, you know, to work together. Um, and it all comes together as one machine. And you can see what, what happens when you when you do the right things. Um, same thing offensively. So, I mean, everybody's an intricate part of each other. Um, so, you know, I think they've always been doing a great job. Coach, it kind of seemed like there at the end of the year answer that it might be the defense. But what's been the overall biggest surprise about your team in your mind? Um, I would say just uh, just the, the way they're they're able to try to battle through the adversities we've had this earlier in the year. You know, um, it, as you can see, if you watch the games, you can see um, with the with the new additions um, of losing certain people, um, trying to figure some things out. You know, everybody. I mean, like I said, everybody knows that that Keyshawn's there, so eyes are on Keyshawn. Whatever he goes, whatever he's doing, eyes are on him. So just just figuring through and and. Trying to trying to muddy through the waters of figuring out that that other guy who's going to help pick up the mantle with Keyshawn offensively and, and run with him, um, so we can so we can try to be um, an explosive offensive team um, throughout the season. Coach, uh, bye week for you guys this week. Uh, what is 
your strategy heading into the bye? How do you want practice to go uh, with the bye kind of uh, early I, in the year? I would say earlier this earlier in the week, uh, yesterday we watched film, uh, tried to clean up some stuff in the Spring Valley game, make sure we got everything taken care of. Um, today, uh, we want to we want to try to get back to some basics um, of off the stuff we've seen in film the last three the last three games. Uh, go back, uh, work on some skill sets that we that we that we have been deficient in, and work on some skill sets that we know we're going to see. Work on some skill sets for the things that we know we're going to see in the next week uh, versus Martinsburg. So, trying to work on some things, get better within ourselves. Uh, today and then we'll move forward tomorrow and then tomorrow and Thursday and try to push more a little push more a little bit toward what Martinsburg may be doing, um, you know, and then get ready for them the following week all together. Um, but you know, it's, you know, we don't have you know, unless we go on TV ten, we don't really they're not going to give us film anytime early, so we'd have to go on and do watch watch uh, the YouTube games to figure out a lot of stuff. Well, we appreciate you watching us, Coach. <laughs> yeah, you know somebody. You know we gotta 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 support. We appreciate that, and uh, we'll talk to you again next week. All right, thank you. I appreciate you.